It's the beginning of growing season. I'm actually getting excited, so I decided to start some plants indoors. But in our climate, I've found that I start them too early every year and then they get spindly and when I direct sow them outside, they usually do just as well as starting them inside. So the only ones I really need to start inside are peppers, tomatoes, and cucumbers. But I went ahead and started a bunch of stuff anyway. So a few weeks ago I showed you how to make these little uh, seed starting trays with the egg cartons. And the other thing I like about them is I can stack them and the light will still come through all of them here. And once they get to the top, I'll be transplanting them into bigger pots. So I've had a few questions. I'll try to answer some of them. People have asked me what I used for a potting mix. I don't use a sterile potting mix, even though there's some chance of damping off. And what damping off is, is when your seedling comes up and some microscopic organisms, some mold gets into the soil, uh, it will rot off the plant. So what I do for that is I just sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on the top. And what I'm using here is just straight worm castings which is worm compost. And I use that because I find it's probably one of the safer composts to use. The worms were living in it and uh, and it's a nice, it holds the moisture well and I found it works for me. So you can use whatever really works for you. And then like I said, I sprinkle a little cinnamon on the top and that prevents the damping off. So don't normally get any damping off issues. I have had some. What else did I have in questions? Peppers and tomatoes. Here in Newfoundland we need short season varieties. Unless you really want to spend a lot of time keeping them under lights and having them inside. So one of the best varieties of tomatoes that you can actually grow outside here in Newfoundland is called the Lata tomato. And in Portugal Cove you can get them from the organic farm. I'll link that in the description box below if you're here locally. You can get the Lata tomatoes. And I also have my peppers. I think it's Atris is the pepper that I grew. Well, I collected my own seeds from them, so I'm not quite sure of the variety, but it did quite well. Uh, for cucumbers, I just use bush varieties of pickling cucumbers. I'm not one that likes fresh eating cucumbers. Love my pickles, so I do a, a bush variety cucumber. So other things that I have started in here are some herbs. I have chervil, fennel, parsley. I have them all marked here, but they're turned around. Oh, I also found some Brussels sprout seeds that are literally, I think, 15 years old. So I don't know if they're going to germinate or not, but I just wanted to test it out and see. And. I have some ornamental edible kale. It's a tricolor kale and it's also edible. Very pretty to have in the garden. I like to mix my vegetable plants with my ornamental plants and uh, that way it helps deter bugs and it looks nice. And I also have an, oh yes, you do have to start these early too, or I feel you do, is basil. So I have some different varieties of basil and some marigolds, kale. I have nasturtiums here, a tall variety and a smaller jewel variety. And yeah, so these little egg cartons work very well. I know here locally in our grocery store, the egg cartons come in these plastic cartons, which is kind of odd, but uh, at least the way I look at it is it gives me a free seed starter even though I'm paying a little bit extra for the eggs, buying good organic eggs, and then I get a nice little tray like this, and they stack up very well in the window ledge. And over here, this is a update on my lettuce stumps. So I actually already recorded this, so I'll just insert that here. Hi guys, today I'm just gonna give you a little update on my lettuce stump growing. I used one of these boxes from the mixed baby greens and when I get my romaine lettuces 
I cut the stumps off and I have quite a few of them put in here. There's a few new ones so I just started and now I have a constant supply of these baby greens. What I do, you can see the water looks really brown down here, is anytime I have a cup of tea I throw the tea bag leaves. I just open up the tea bag and throw the leaves down into the bottom, the little grinds, and then top it up with water. Keep it here on my window ledge that's next to my sink so that I can keep it watered. And this is all completely free lettuce that I'm growing. And I also have a celery in here. So I have a celery stump in amongst it and just use this little plastic container that I reused from the mixed baby greens that I had and put in all my romaine stumps and a couple of little stumps from my celery and I have a constant supply of baby greens. These have been picked off about three times already um, for my salads. So let me know if you've been doing this yourself. I have grown them in the past just in a glass but I'm finding this container much nicer. Just sit it here in the window ledge and it can fit quite a few lettuce stumps in here along with some celery stumps and you have absolutely free organic vegetables from the stumps from your grocery store lettuce. So I'll post the links right here as well to my other lettuce stump videos along with other foods you can grow from grocery store leftovers and get yourself some free organic food. I don't need soil. I don't use any special fertilizers, just the leftover tea bags. Coffee grinds would work as well too. And water. And then I have these little Pyrex bowls and they just happen to fit over my planters extremely well. So I'm germinating some seeds in here. Uh, watercress as well as, whew, I can't even remember because I didn't label it. I'll have to wait till it comes up. Uh, what did I put in there? I think I put more basil in there. Another variety of basil because that's my favorite herb. So I have the covers over them until they germinate and then I'll take it off and I have some basil here that just came up and I've been pinching that off a little bit. So that's that. We've been out in the garden quite a lot tidying up. There's still frost in the soil. I tried to dig up a little bush today but it was all frosted in. And we have everything cleaned up out here. I'm ready to start gardening again. This year I will be purchasing some organic manure to amend the soil because we don't have our chickens anymore so there's no manure in our compost. So I'll top up the beds with some manure and some compost and we need to put another little coating of paint on everything. Paint did fade a little bit but it's been a few years so with our climate it's uh, to be expected. So hopefully throughout the garden season if you have any gardening questions for me just post them down below and I'll make a list and I'll try to get to those questions throughout the season and uh, look forward to showing you more gardening this year. I got a lot of little projects I'll be moving some things around and uh, growing lots of veggies and herbs and fruits and berries so can't wait to get started. It's a little early for us yet. I'm sure we're still probably going to get another snow. So, but it's nice to look out and see almost no snow on the ground. There's some in the corners there. All right, so keep watching throughout the season and I'll keep you updated.